graduating class of 2012 at Cypress Woods High School. I'm Jared Kinder, and I'm very honored to be the principal of one of the most outstanding high schools in the state of Texas. staff and student body at Cypress Woods High School, I welcome you this morning to the school's fourth graduating ceremony. Most important, I welcome you here to celebrate with 571 graduates who have truly exemplified the intensity of Cypress 212 spirit. We thank you parents and guardians for being part of their incredible support team and for providing an invaluable asset in assisting each graduate to reach this milestone in their life. You have provided your children with the vital support needed to educate the whole child. We thank you again. We want to thank Superintendent Dr. Mark Henry, Trustees Lyle Woodell, Christine Hartley, Tom Jackson, Bill Morris, Dr. John Ogletree, and Don Ronnie. Other guests joining us on stage this morning include Roy Garcia, Associate Superintendent for Administration and Curriculum. Carol Rowe, Associate Superintendent for Technology and Operations. And Dr. Scott Shepard, Assistant Superintendent for Secondary Curriculum. I personally would like to thank my new family, the amazing staff and students at Cypress Woods, who choose to make a difference in and out of the classroom on a daily basis. I am forever grateful for your 212 degree commitment to excellence. Thank you. It's my pleasure to present four outstanding students who will host our ceremony this morning. First, Ms. Jordan Jones will present our opening remarks. Jordan was a member of the Wild Things, is a summa cum laude honor graduate and officer of the Fish Club. Jordan is the daughter of Sterling and Sarah Jones. Jordan's opening remarks will be followed by Ms. Alyssa Ballard. in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the Texas Pledge. She was a member of the Varsity Cheer Squad and the Wildcat Choir Program. Alyssa is the daughter of Robert and Patty Umkin. Following the National Anthem, Mr. Trevor Strahan <laughs> will present our graduation address. Trevor is a cum laude honor grad, was a member of the Theater Arts Program, and was also a wild thing. He was selected by a panel to speak on behalf of the 2012 graduates. Trevor is the son of Bill and Lisa Strahan. The fourth graduate joining me on stage is Miss Brooke Humphrey. <laughs> Brooke will provide our closing remarks today. She's a cum laude honor graduate and the daughter of Lauren and Diane Humphrey. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Miss Jordan Jones. celebrate this important milestone in our lives. This is the day and the moment where we bridge from childhood to adulthood, and in doing so, it's easy to become overwhelmed by both the limitations of what is feasible and the enormity of what is possible. So let's then consider each of these situations in turn. A well-known and respected humanitarian, Dieter F. Dorf, once compared our lives to those of the characters in Roald Dahl's novel, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which tells the story of a reclusive candy maker named Willy Wonka, who hides within his candy bars five golden tickets and announces that whoever finds one of the tickets wins a tour of his factory and a lifetime supply of chocolate. Winning a ticket promises the finder surprises and happiness and luck which entices the entire world to search desperately for their own golden ticket. Some feel that their entire future happiness depends on whether or not a golden ticket falls into their hands. In their anxiousness, people begin to forget the simple joy they used to find in a candy bar. 
So many people today are waiting for their own golden ticket. The ticket they believe holds the key to the happiness that they've always dreamed about. <coughs> As we graduate from Silas today, we are all leaving with goals. Goals for our education, our careers, and our families. And these goals are good and important. However, as Duke George says, the problem comes when we put our happiness on hold as we wait for some golden ticket to appear. We can't be so focused on finding our golden ticket that we don't enjoy the journey of life. We will experience failures and disappointments on our quest for our own golden tickets. But as the famous former British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli once said, there is no teacher like adversity. For instance, Remember the football game we played against the Katy Tigers? We were so pumped for that game. We had spirit days and we had pep rallies and we sold out the very center. We gave those Tigers a run for their money. Did we get our golden ticket? Not exactly. But we gained something even more valuable. Unity. We united an entire community and the 2,000 plus individual students at Sidewoods in a common cause and created a true team that we could be proud of. There was no golden ticket that day, but the journey was sweet. So now that we've talked about enjoying what we have and loving where we land, let's not forget the responsibility and the possibility that is ours to change the world. Our generation will define what the world will be like in the next 20 years. In a recent article in Vanity Fair magazine, journalist Kurt Anderson explains that in American history, every 20 years has marked the beginning of a dramatic cultural facelift. Music, art, fashion, and entertainment have changed drastically at each of these points, except in this last 20 years. Anderson points out that even as technological and scientific leaps have continued to revolutionize our lives, popular styles have stuck on repeat, consuming the past instead of creating the new. If you think about it, you can obviously distinguish the bell bottoms and the prominent sideburns of the 70s from the leather jackets and gel hair of the 50s. However, as you look from the 90s to the 2010s, most people are still wearing jeans and tennis shoes. Most music of today contains throwbacks to earlier time periods. We haven't changed much these last two decades. One can hardly tell the difference between Lady Gaga and Madonna. This phenomenon has been studied by many people, but what they all want to know is are we the generation to break the cultural stagnation? President John F. Kennedy once said, those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. My hope for us, the Woods graduating class of 2012, is that we will find this missing future and redefine the world. And I believe that we can do it because we are Wildcats. of Major Juan Ely. The senior members of our choir, under the direction of Mr. Jason Walnut, will lead us in our national anthem. I would ask that everyone please rise at this time. Senior men, please remove your hats.
faculty, administration, and fellow Wildcats. As a proud member of the class of 2012, it is an honor to deliver the commencement address to the finest class our high school has ever seen. On this graduation day, we are reminded of what we already know, that no one will ever forget what we as a class have brought to the table at Cypress Woods High School. It wasn't long ago when we instilled a pledge within our hearts and minds to Cypress Woods. This pledge has carried us through an unforgettable journey, leaving us here today, celebrating four years of what has made us exceptional, what has made us unique, and what has made us the Wildcat class of 2012. In the four fantastic years I've spent in Cypress Woods, I have seen and experienced more success and talent among this class of spectacular individuals than I ever expected to. It is truly astonishing to imagine how far we have come. From the very first day of our freshman year, each and every one of us committed to a journey. This journey has taken us through many highs and lows, with many smiles and moments of laughter, and even many moments of heartbreak. In this journey, we have committed rigorously our blood, sweat, and tears to the idea of 212 degrees, leaving within us fond memories to hold within our hearts. Along our journey, we have fought to arrive at the destination we now find ourselves, graduation. But we must remember the past and how it has enhanced our entire journey to truly appreciate where we are today. Take the time to embrace this journey we have taken, a voyage we shall forever remember. This voyage all being possible because Cypress Woods has given all of us one very exceptional element to success, freedom. First, Cypress Woods has graced us with the freedom of individuality. Cy Woods has made it known to all of us that we can be great, no matter who we are, where we have come from, or where we are going. Ironically, the discovery of this individuality that our school encourages within ourselves ultimately brings us closer as one student body, diversified yet unified. Furthermore, Cypress Woods has given us the freedom to succeed. There are no barriers standing in the way of achievement within the walls of this school. Cypress Woods, an institution that has truly defined the word victorious. Cypress Woods has allowed us to be triumphant in all of our endeavors, never leading us astray from our aspirations, but always promoting the vision of excellence. Let us not forget how we have brought this esteemed excellence to the name Cypress Woods. Finally, we recognize Cypress Woods for believing in and proving that we have the incredible potential for victory. We as graduates have taken a firm hold upon that potential, always persevering and rising to every occasion, never letting up in our determination to succeed, but always meeting the expectations that inspired us the very first day we became Wildcats. As a representative of our graduating class, I would like to extend our sincerest gratitude to the teachers, coaches, and administrators for creating these freedoms within Cy Woods. We as seniors have led the student body, but it is the faculty, the driving force behind our successes that have held us Wildcats to the highest standard over the last four years, making our achievements possible. We are truly indebted to them for the diploma we are about to receive. The class of 2012 thanks you for creating a school with no boundaries for success, where we can be ourselves, filling our lives with the vast knowledge required to grow in preeminence and live up to our fullest potential. We thank you for preparing us for our next journey after we walk, after we walk across the stage and receive just one more milestone. Our future lives are beginning to unfold, and it starts with this chapter coming to a close and an even greater one about to begin. From here on out, the world will hear the name Cypress Woods and know the potential we have for victory. We as a class should take extreme pride in knowing that we have had a hand in creating this glorious school for all to see, worth remembering. Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Wildcats, it is safe to say that we habitually exude excellence here at Cypress Woods High School. Our excellence is an expectation here at the Woods, and we have glorified those expectations by leaps and bounds, setting the bar higher than it's ever been set before. Glory is not given. It is a prize that all crave, and a prize that we have earned. 
We have earned that glory in athletics when we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with what could be argued as the best 5A high school, high school football team in the last decade. We have been underestimated at times, but our perseverance has created fear among our competitors. We have earned that glory in academics. This year, our UIL academics team advanced more people to the region and state competitions than any other school in our district. For cats are keen, clever, and intelligent. We have earned that glory in the arts when for the first time ever in the history of Cy Woods, our campus theater company broke past one of the most difficult districts in the state of Texas and earned its way to the state championship in Austin where they competed at the highest and most prestigious level. the name Cypress Woods, and glory lasts forever, Wildcats. Along a journey such as the one we have taken together for the last four years, one makes everlasting friendships. I would like to take this moment to thank my fellow classmates here for being an intricate and important part of my journey, and for you to give thanks to each other. As a cohesive group, we embody the 212 philosophy in totality. It is not a coincidence that the class of 2012 has successfully displayed the strength, the determination, and the burning, fire, the burning fiery passion of 212 degrees at its highest power. Looking out into the sea of red, I can see that 212 should have new meaning for all of us today. Until now, 212 was and is the Wildcat way. And although Wildcats we will forever be, the philosophy of 212 degrees will now carry us through all of our accomplishments in life. Wildcats, through the freedom we have been given, the glory we have earned, and the 212 spirit that we radiate, we have triumphed, we have been victorious. We have fought for this day for four long years, and here we are at our finest hour. The Wildcat class of 2012 will forever be heard as a declaration in one unified voice. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We are eternally united within the crimson and gold. Our alma mater says it best of Cypress Woods, we'll always be a part. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? As principal of Cypress Woods High School, it is my pleasure to present to you the senior class of 2012 and certify that they have fulfilled the necessary requirements for graduation from this institution and the state of Texas. It is my request that they be graduated and that you, in your capacity as superintendent of schools, confer upon them the high school diploma with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. Thank you, Mr. Kenner, <coughs> President Covey, and Board of Trustees. By the authority vested in me by the Texas Education Agency and the Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District, I do hereby confer upon the senior class of 2012 the diplomas of Cypress Woods High School with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. May I be the first to congratulate you. Thank you, Dr. Seniors, please take your tassel in your right hand and change your tassel from your left side.
Congratulations, man.